Welcome back. We have a filmer today, or what is that what you call that? Filmer? I at least have somebody behind the camera today, so hopefully we can have some good angles of this. We picked up a box of 2023 Topps Pro Debut. There's four autographs in this box. We're hoping to pull something huge. I know some people in this house do not think so, but this is what we got. So we're going to open this up. We actually opened up a, bo a mini box of Topps Museum, and we actually pulled this meaningful material of Nick Ladello. It's a nice patch of his right here. So nothing too spectacular out of that mini box, but it's pretty cool to open up. So let's get this opened up now and see what we find. Hoping to pull at least some pirate rookies. Uh, not 100% sure. Let's see what we can find. 24 packs. 24 packs. Let's see if we can find some autos and some rookies. Maybe one day we can have the, the Mike Trout of this. Okay, so Victor Acosta. These are actually pretty nice cards. We are going to spring training in March, so maybe we can get some of these signed while we're down there. Nothing in that one, it's fine. A lot of these guys, I have no idea who they are, but that's the fun part. Maybe next year, one of them will be Nick Gonzalez from the Altoona Curve, there's a pirate. Oh, there's our first auto. Tucker Toman of the Blue Jays. Yeah, you know, it's nothing too excited yet. We don't even know who he is, but he actually has a pretty cool auto. Wu Ben Chu, Tres Gonzalez of the Pirates. So right there, I'm just gonna go pile by pile. How's that food? Really good. Okay, actually I think we got another hit. Did we? Maybe. Marco Luciano, Spencer Jones. Zach Nito, the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Right there, nice insert. That is the Farm Fresh Futures, Cutter Coffee. Some pretty funny names, actually. This one's kind of thick. We are also looking for exclusive mini diamond refractor parallels. So, we actually just got a Topps Chrome rookie in this one. Let's see, anybody big? Peyton Pallet, we got this Jordan Lawler of the Amarillo Sod Pop Poodles. Poodles? Yeah, Amarillo Sod Poodles. I'd hate to be on that team. Tops Chrome, I kind of like that logo though. It's a bunch of poodles. Rossman Verdugo, actually pretty funny so far. Yeah. I will show you guys the hits after we are done. So far we pulled one out of the four autos. We actually got another Tops Chrome in this one. Shailene Polanco from the Pirates, Cal Ripken Jr., Alex Friedland Tops Chrome. Those are not numbered either. Nobody's name standing out yet. If I see the autos too, I may hold them until the end. Henry Davis, there's a Pirate. He made his Major League debut for the Pirates this year, so that's pretty nice. Chandler Simpson of the Rays. Room. If you guys are interested in any of these, reach out. Most of them will be available for sale. I don't see the auto. Jace Jung, Jacob Berry. Oh, there's the auto right there. Jorge Barroso from the Amarillo Sod Poodles. Why is it all the poodles? So, right there, Jorge Barroso. So, there's two out of the four autos already. Adrian Placentia. Okay. So two autos. Still have at least two more. It says four per box. And it's really hard to even tell where they're at. So Justin Boyd. Gabriel Rinconis. Tops Chrome. Some of these guys might actually be good already. I'm just not sure. Daytona Tortungos. Troy Melton, Christian Hernandez. There's a Farm Fresh Futures of the Wichita Wind Surge. Brooks Lee. It's really hard.
hard to tell if there's any autos, though. Alex Freeman. There's Tamar Johnson from the Bradenton Marauders. He was the number one pick by the Pirates in 2022. So there, so there we go. Maybe we'll get to meet him in March. Kel Ellie De La Cruz from the Reds. Really good player right there. Now I'm starting to think that O'Neill Cruz might be in this. Oh, he might not be. Excited. It's hard to say. I don't know though. Do I have it? He was in yes. last year. No. Chandler Simpson again. Jordan Lawler from the Amarillo Sod Pot Poodles. Evan Carter from the Frisco Rough Riders. I have a feeling he was actually already played. We still have two more autos. We got about 12 more packs. We're halfway through the box. Big stack right there. It's really hard to tell where the autos are. Zach Nito from the Trash Pandas. I actually think we got something here. We'll get to that in a second. Cam Collar. Tucker Toman from the Blue Jays Farm Fresh Futures. And we also pulled this blue, which it is numbered 90 out of 150. Willie Vasquez of the Charleston River Dogs. Nice blue. I actually think that might be it's somewhat of a color match too. So Really good there. Nice little hit. Okay, guys. Oh, we still got about 11 more packs. Tamir Johnson tops Chrome from the Pirates. So, yeah, it's already two of him. It'd be really nice to meet him this year. Nobody else I noticed in that pack. He is actually, too, on cover of the box too so there we go so it's already nice to pull two of him and he is also on the packs we have we have an auto for this one so i'm going to save that pack it looks like an orange auto okay so we're going to open this one up but there is an orange auto in there okay that's not an auto it's a green of south Freelick of the Nashville Sounds, and this is numbered out of 99, 37 out of 99, Sal Freelick. Gabriel Martinez, so nobody there. So this stack here does have an auto. That would be our third auto. So somewhere in these next eight packs or so, we have one more auto. Here's a Zach Nito Pink, number 91 out or 34 out of 199. He's with the trash pandas. So some nice color in this box. So we have one more auto that we gotta find. We haven't found any of the mini diamond refractor parallels yet. Are there supposed to be any? I don't know. I don't know what the odds are on them. Let's make sure we don't have an auto here. Cole Young. Some of these guys I can't even pronounce. Angel Janeo, Tops Chrome. Okay, guys, we're down to the last six. I think we have one auto here. We should have one more auto left. Okay, no auto in this one. Okay, five packs left. Let's get a big one. Auto James Wood. I think that's a color auto too. I think it might be orange. Okay, that's there's an auto in this one. Actually, what I do is I'm gonna put those on the bottom. Actually, I think I already did that one on the bottom. So those two already have it. There's our last two autos. Now maybe we'll get a mini diamond parallel in one of these packs, but I'm not holding my breath. Jorge Barroso of the Amarillo Sod. Poodles, Chrome. Two more packs and then two packs with the autos. Mac, Max Muncy. Elijah Green, Chrome. It's really thick for some reason. Okay, one more pack and then we're going to get the last two autos. Both of those are the autos. saving them for the last one. Yep. Amber. Amborosi Tavares and the Braves tops Chrome. Okay, so now we got these last two stacks here. These 
both have autos. We got Jack Brannigan from the Marauders. We'll do a slow reveal on this one too. So it's his last card. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it is. It is a red. Carlos Jorge. Who's that? From the Atlantic Coast League Reds. So that is our third auto. Now let's go to the color auto. Ooh. Colton Jackson Merrill. Okay, here we go. Last and final auto. It is orange. It's actually sideways. It is from the Woo something Wooies. Glader Figueroa from the Down East Wood Ducks. Right there is an orange auto. It is number eight out of 25. So right there is our fourth and final auto. So overall, I'm not 100% sure how this box did because some of these guys might not have made their debuts yet. Hunter, Henry Davis did and some of the other guys. So over the next hopefully year, two, maybe three, four, we'll find out how these guys do. But thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.